Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 191 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl, Doho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, 
All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. More baller than this. Three minutes in our opening round. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, and he caught the kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Wild swing there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. The target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jet, too. Nice leg kick there by Choi. Trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 30 seconds to go. Look at the skip action. That allows you to land that big knee. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just missed with the left there. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Straight punch lands. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Oh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Choi's <laughs> strike attempt there is blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Counter punches, good by Choi. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh! A little single collar tie there. What a tricky head kick. Oh, huge block! Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Right. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Nice punch, lands. Now he's got the boy tied block. And they separate. Able to check that kick as well. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice straight punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Pretty good straight punch there by Shore. Final seconds here. Whiffs on that offering. All right, single collar tie now. And that's the end of round number two. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. 
both combatants stood toe to toe and let it all hang out. Take a breath and relax. Watch him look at the finish this round. Put the pressure on this guy. Move forward behind Edmund. You jab this long. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. It's good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down to the strike that was really damaging his opponent. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Way to hide that leg kick. Let me see that hook now. Ooh, what a punch. A really good job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Nice. Oh, straight right. Korean Superboy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Just over three minutes to go. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Nice stupid punch. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, knee strike right to the tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Nice head kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the... His head's still attached to his boss. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. <laughs> nice leg kick land. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Hands up, hands up. 
pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh. A lot of highlights over those previous five minutes, DC, and big part of the narrative, those knee strikes. Those knee strikes landed, and they landed and did a ton of damage. You can see his opponent slowing down because he's taking so many of those knee strikes to the body. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those address. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 13 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Big Daddy. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.